Top Fuel back to the line for their second round. The first round was devastating to contenders. 15 went away in the first round. 16 if you count Alan Johnson, who was disqualified. The Lucas Oil ladder as we look here into the second round. Corey Mack, Rod Fuller, Rod can spoil that day. Larry Dixon and Tony Schumacher. Oh, we're talking a matchup there. Other side of the ladder, you got Brandon Bernstein and Steve Torrance. Torrance having the lane choice and the matchup on the line right now. Doug Coletta against Antron Brown. Doug with the lane choice. Like everybody else, pretty much is taking that right hand lane. Fifth and sixth in the points at this moment. So somebody's going to get hurt here. And those are the ones eliminated in the different classes, the countdown contenders in round one. Man, it's devastating, wasn't it? Uh, but, but right now, it's the second round. We're going to have to look at track conditions. Remember, the previous round, it wasn't too bad for top field. The lanes were fairly even. By the time we got the funny car, got a little bit suspect in that left-hand lane down track. Antron is three and two racing Doug this year. Oh. So sure that Coletta was going to get down there. Brown had his problems. Then Coletta had some. Coletta runs a 444, 246 miles an hour. I saw Mark Oswald, uh, crew chief for Antron Brown, one of the co-crew chiefs, talking to Rick Stewart. Watch the right side screen. Up and spoke immediately. Doug Coletta, not too much further down track, but he had much more momentum at that point. Remember, the car just started to get moving, so it didn't have enough, enough speed to get that thing to even if Antron had done the job to get to recover, probably to catch Doug Coletta. <laughs> kind of grabs his hat and grabs the win. And <laughs> Antron, boy, he was all but sideways there. Now let's take a look at the wins by lane in Top Fuel. I would take the right lane if I had a choice, Mike. You're a genius, Paul. I am. I'll tell you what, I am so into this stuff.